This is a very, very simple chaplet to make. Can you not dangle it? Like hold it up, but don't dangle it. Don't swing it. Just show Where's it in both mine? of them. There you go. I've got there. yours. Where'd mine? Oh. So um, flip, the, flip the metal around so they can see St. Rita. This is St. Rita. It's a beautiful metal. She is kneeling in front of the um, a crucifix and Did there's almost like a light shining down onto her forehead. And we'll talk about that in just a second, what that's about. Um, hi, everybody. We're going to be praying this, the chaplet to St. Rita, the patroness of impossible causes. And also, okay, that's good. And also troubled marriages. So this is, um, I did not know that about her. So, and, and after um, learning about her story, I have discovered why. So on Instagram, I'm going to be able to share um, an, an image, but we're just going to talk about St. Rita really quickly. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, so it's too big. <laughs> yeah, it's way too big. All right. We are not going to share a, vi a picture on Instagram. That's okay. Yeah. St. Rita was, um, so she was about, I would say, David's age. She was probably 12 or, um, 12, actually. She was your age exactly, David. Um, she, she wanted to be, oh, thank you, Sharon. She wanted to be a sister. And then her father forced her to get married at 12 years old. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> This was a long time ago. Um, let's see. She was born in 1381, and she died in 1472. So she lived in the 1300s and the 1400s. So back then, women did get married early, but even then, 12 was a little young. Um, so she was married at 12. She started to have babies, and um, her husband was very abusive. So, And he was also um, kind of a lord at the time. Do you guys know what a lord was? A lord was kind of um, a ruler of the area, and he had a feud. Do you know what a feud is? Like a king? Kind of like a king, yes. David, what's a feud? You know what a feud is. A family feud? Yes, a family a feud. Yes. So his family and another family were feuding. And, um, yes, and for a very fight. long time. So the her husband was very abusive, but he was also very violent to everyone. And he was killed. He was killed, and she had sons. And their uncle, the father's brother, encouraged them to grow up wanting to avenge their father. And she kept trying to teach them peace. She kept trying to teach them to not fight and to not fight against the other family. And um, one by one, they all were killed during by that feud. So she lost her husband and all of her sons. Were they um, grown up? Or were yeah, kids? probably teenagers to young adults, yeah. And so um, at that point, she said, I want to dedicate my life to God like I wanted to as a child. And the sisters, the convent, wouldn't let her in, the <laughs> Augustinian sisters, because she belonged to a family that was feuding with another large family. And so they didn't want to have her there and potentially and be dangerous. Well, no, I think they just didn't want the families entering into the convent and hurting any of the sisters. Um, and so that was kind of wisdom, but also sad for her. So she, they told her the only way she could enter was if she ended the feud. Do you think one woman could end a whole family feud that's been going on for hundreds of years? No. no. Well, this was also during the time of the bubonic plague. What's a bubonic? Uh, it is one of the plagues that killed a lot of people. We're currently living in a pandemic. It's similar to that where a lot of people can catch it and get sick and die. Um, Jay, please don't lean on Ethan. Okay. So, um... She prayed to, um, she had three favorite saints. And I'm going to try to see, oh, John the Baptist, um, St. Augustine, and Nicholas of Tolentino, I think, were her, the saints that she um, prayed to. Mm -hmm. And one of the leading fathers of mm -hmm. one of the families got sick with the bubonic plague and right. called the feud off, which meant that she could then do what? The feud sister. was over. She be could then be a sister. Yes. So she entered the convent. So she, she dedicated her life to God there. She prayed every day. Um, at one point, she said she wanted to suffer like Jesus. And that's why on this um, on this medal, on this medal, you can see her kneeling in front of the crucifix. And there's a light that shines down onto her forehead. And she received 
a wound on her forehead. And this wound was similar to what Jesus would have experienced with what? When would he have had a wound on his forehead? The rose, a nail. Crown. The crown of thorns. thorns. Yes. And so until her death, that wound bled um, and caused her a lot of mental suffering. Yeah. Caused her a lot of suffering, but she thanked God for it because she wanted to suffer with her her Savior, Jesus, who she loved so much. Um, There is one story where she was on her deathbed and she asked, and this story is included on your prayer sheet, which you can find the prayer sheet on the hrccr.com website. Teaches you how to pray the chaplet, what the chaplet should look like. And um, there's a little story about her death there where she asked for, so she was dying during the month of January, I believe. And she asked one of the sisters, she didn't want much, but she asked one of the sisters to just bring her a rose. And in the month of January, even here, are there many roses? No, because it's just not the season for them. Well, the sister was able to find a rose exactly from her from her family's home, or find a rose exactly where she said it would be, and she brought it to her so she could have a rose on her deathbed, which is really cool. All right, so that is the story of St. Rita. Um, that is why she's the patron saint of impossible cases and of difficult marriages. Um, um, we just celebrated uh, Mother's Day. She's also a patron saint of parenthood. Um, I, I, there are some, I'm sure, that can imagine the loss of a child or have experienced the loss of a child, but to lose all your children, especially to a family feud, um, is pretty depressing. So we are going to lead everyone in the chaplet of St. Rita, which the boys were noticing is very brief very short and so they're gonna help me lead we're gonna start on the metal okay guys I need to say something okay and y'all are gonna see me be a parent right now Uh we are about to pray with a lot of other people there's 14 people here two people on Instagram and they would like to pray quietly and reverently and we know how to be reverent right Jonathan we know how to be reverent it's how we behave when we're at church but we're Where two or more are gathered, Jesus is with us, so we're going to be praying with him as well. Okay? Jonathan, you're going to sit up right now. And here's your your chaplet, okay? So we're going to start on the metal, and we're going to pray this opening prayer, but we are going to start with the sign of the cross, okay? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And I'll lead the opening prayer, which is said on on the St. Rita medal. O Holy St. Rita... Exemplary Augustinian sister, we honor you for your devotion to the passion of Christ. Although your early life was filled with disappointment, frustration, and unceasing tragedy, you never lost faith and trust in God. For this, you are the patroness of the impossible and our inspiration and advocate in desperate circumstances. So now we'll begin the first three beads. They'll be the Our Father. David, mm-hmm. please okay. lead the Our Fathers. Oh. Or was that you? That was you, Ethan. No, he was doing the Hail Mary. Oh. Go ahead, Ethan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us and not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And the next three are the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Go ahead, John. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. end. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. All right. And we, I'm going to close with that same prayer that we started with on the cross. O Holy St. Rita, exemplary Augustinian sister, we honor you for your devotion to the passion of Christ. Although your early life was filled with disappointment, frustration, and unceasing tra tragedy, you never lost faith and trust in God. For this you are the patroness of the impossible and our inspiration and advocate in desperate circumstances. And um, when I say St. Rita, you say pray for us, okay? St. Rita, pray, pray for, for us. St. Rita, pray for us. St. Rita, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you all. Have a good evening. Bye. And as always, like with every week, if you would like a St. Rita, chaplet just let me know and we will send them to you all right this is a saint rita chaplet very easy to make you can even try to make it at home yep god bless you all bye, bye. what do i need to do how do you do it right there in the corner my instagram i think that's right button. start a water are you okay